All right, this little short video is just about a setup, just some minor setup instructions for the Hunter Works new clutch uh, setup for 16 and near 900 Razor, 16 and near XP 1000 models, all models. Is this? There's a couple things about it that is slightly different that you're going to need to know about. All right, one, and I apologize, I got an outline right here. Uh, our standard washer that you see on our website, standard white washer, no new primary comes with a new plastic washer. So if you're buying a new primary, order the standard washer, we'll put it as an option on the clutch kit. Just get it. To be honest with you, just get it even if you're reusing your, your primary and just remove what's there because this is right and especially for you 900 guys it's going to run a 1000 belt which you now can if you're getting our kit with a better secondary it's not noisy so you can run a thicker belt so essentially get standard washer for anybody else watching this if you're buying a new primary clutch you're going to need a washer so get it all right uh, XP 1000 guys, all right, the primary clutch changed in 16 where the fly weight goes in is a little wider. Dalton has some black plastic uh, shim washers, thrust washers, whatever you want to call them, goes on each side of fly weight and it fits, makes it fit, all right, because we're using a 1415 kit, it comes with metal because that model was a little thinner. We're taking those out of this 1415 kit, putting the black washers in. Costs more, unfortunately. I don't know, it's pretty expensive washers. We're adding a little bit to it for that. But nonetheless, that's a change, okay? So if your buddy's got the same kit, well, I ain't got them black washers. No, because you actually have 1415 mile. So we got it figured out. Um, the last thing I want to cover for you is, is something totally optional with a secondary. It's called float. Okay, so you got your transmission shaft here, and this secondary goes on here. It can you can either choose two ways to install it. You can use your bolt or this concave washer that comes with it, put it on, tighten her down, you know, whatever factory specs is. I think it's 45, 50 foot pounds. I use the impact, tighten it down, and that's it. You're gonna have to deal with alignment. Um, or and or you can use the stack of washers that come with it that'll, that'll go on then the, then this concave washer and the purpose of this is is that the stack of washers is going to tighten up against the end of your shaft and it's going to give a teeny tiny bit of movement this big washer is going to be standing off of it just a, just a shade and it gives this clutch a little float back and forth to keep your belt and alignment run cooler but it is 100 percent optional last thing i'm going to cover on this if you're spending this much money and this much time to do this and get this right with his better parts quieter heavy duty go on and buy the hunter work 16 a new alignment tool and make sure that it your shaft spacing is correct and alignment is right chances are it's moved over time spend the extra money do it right that's two the six what we call 16 a newer tool here works on your 16 and newer 900s and 1000s so get it lastly and i might have already covered i'm not sure 900 guys can now use the XP 1000 belt with this secondary because it's quiet, it's thicker for you guys at 900, better grip, you can use it. XP 1000 guys, you can still use any belt we got, standard or thick, and you'll still use a thick washer with a thick belt. That ain't changed. So these just little tidbits, and for everybody else, anybody else watching this, going, what the hell is this video about? Hey, we sell belts for you. If you got, <laughs> please buy one. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, all right, guys, that's just tidbits of information about the install on the Hunter Works um, new little clutch kit. And uh, if you got any questions, shoot me an email, Todd at HunterWorks.com.